Unless you have been hibernating under a rock, you might have heard of the recent $2 million exploit of the Terra Build Protocol Mirror in May 2022 following a $90 million hack in October 2021. Now, what we want to highlight here is the cause of the second hack, which was attributed to a bug in the LUNC pricing oracles. Now, if you're new here, I'm Stefan, and on In The Blocks, we help Web2 developers get into Web3. Before we start, let me remind you that if you have developed a blockchain application, either a Web3 platform, NFT game, DeFi protocol, or anything else, Unblock Labs got you covered. At Unblock Labs, we guarantee high quality security to your users and shareholders. We implement not only the highest auditing standards, but also allow you to leverage your brand. Give your shareholders some peace of mind, eh? Visit Unblock Labs today and get immediate feedbacks. All right, so if you don't know, the Mirror Protocol is a DeFi platform that allows users to create and trade the mirrored assets, or M assets, that mirror the price of stocks, including major stocks traded on US exchanges. As Terra crashed last year and decided to create a new Terra 2.0, the rigid and outdated price oracle network of Mirror Protocol could not handle that switch. Hackers immediately took advantage of the huge difference in price between Terra Classic and Terra 2.0, took out over a million dollars in loans with only a thousand dollars in collaterals, and drained a mirror of two million dollars. Now that raises the question of how widespread this type of vulnerability really is. Well, you might be surprised to hear that Oracle manipulation is not uncommon. As a matter of fact, it is quite a classic. So let's explore how that works. So usually what happens, you'd have a protocol that needs some data that lives outside of its blockchain and therefore would rely on oracles, which are smart contracts themselves. But in some cases, the protocol, for whatever reason, only rely on a single price oracle. And so via a flash loan, a hacker can just drain one side of a liquidity pool where the oracle performs the price discovery, which shoots the price of the asset up or down multiple fold depending on the hack. The hacker could then conclude with an arbitrage trade to capture the newly created value. So that's the type of oracle manipulation you tend to see the most reported in the media with a DAP using a single price feed source smart contract and consuming the manipulated value without additional security checks. Now, an oracle can also be tampered with directly via its off-chain infrastructure. Oracles don't use anything special in the background. They require traditional software to run. A lot, actually. And so that opens the door to attacks on access control, cryptographic implementation, transport, and database security, among others. That's why software providing Oracle services must be hardened and stick to security-based practices, such as the OWASP secure coding practices, for example. We're not going to cover the case of centralized Oracles, which is obviously a bad idea since you put your trust in a single entity. But decentralized oracle can also face a couple of issues such as freeloading. Now, freeloading attacks are the simplest form to save work and maximize profit for an oracle node. A node can leverage another oracle or off-chain component such as an API and simply copy the values without validation. Now, one way to help countering freeloading is to implement a commit reveal scheme which prevent oracle system participants from peeking into each other's data. And so today, the go-to way to solve the oracle problem are decentralized oracles in the names of Chainlink, Teller, Witnet. The best practice is to use a median of multiple oracles that provide heightened security since it is harder and more expensive to attack various oracles. It also ensures that a smart contract gets the data it needs even if one oracle or API call fails. Another standard solution is to use a time-weighted average price feed so that price is averaged out over X periods and multiple sources. Not only that this prevent oracle manipulation, but it also reduces the chance that you can be front-run as an order executed right before cannot have as drastic of an impact on the price. Hopefully you learned something about Oracle manipulation. Let us know in a comment what you retain from this video. If you want to know more about hacks, check out the top 5 biggest hacks in blockchain history or get to know why delegate call is such a scary function for developers. And with that, I'll talk to you in the next one. Ciao.